YouTube land. Um, right, it's been a bit of a while since I've done a DIY uh, based video. Today, what I'm looking to do is change this monoblock tap. Now, it still kind of works, let me just operate it. But the problem I've got is, uh, let's come around here. That obviously is not going to last much longer, and it seems to be a sealed unit. There's, I thought there might be a screw hidden away in there, but it doesn't seem to be, um, so it's, it's quite loose. But also when I turn it on, um, <laughs> let me show you what happens. Um, it kind of goes everywhere, you can see, it's off, but it's shooting, <laughs> see from there, look, it's shooting stuff all over the place. Um, so there you go, it's, um, it's making the right piggy mess, basically. So, um, I'm just going to swap that out. Now, it, it is a bit difficult to get to, so basically it's... Uh, it's all fitted in this, so all the pipes and everything are under there, so it's going to be a real job to get up to that, but uh, let me try and take you through it as best I can. Um, I have got a new one, obviously, not going to take it off unless I've got a new one, and uh, this is what we've got in the unboxing ceremony. So, it comes with pipes, um, how useful they're going to be, I don't know, and uh, here's the tab, let me uh, get that out. There you go, so slightly different to the one that's on there already, but um, yeah, pretty much the same. Um, so right, let's uh, try and get the old one off, isolate the water obviously, and uh, I'll take you through it and try and explain it in the best way I can. So let's get some light in here so we can see what's going on. So that's what I'm aiming for. I'm just going to take the, let's get some light out there so you can see it. Uh, there are the isolators there. now. Obviously this waste has got to come off because that is in the way. Uh, it's not pretty, but it does the job. Um, yeah, I may change it. I don't know. Nah, well, it doesn't need changing. You never see it. Um, so I noticed as well we've got... Um, if I can get you right up there. We've got the T-junctions at the top there and uh, the pipes come off that to the taps. Um, I'm not sure if that's where I'm going to connect them or whether I will connect them down there. All depends on how long the pipes are and, and what happens. So right, let's get all this stripped out and get myself some room to work and uh, yeah, try and take you through it the best way I can. Well that's cleared the area a bit. Um, slight problem. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know whether I want to show you this. It makes us look really skanky. Um, yeah, the, the, <laughs> the plastic went brittle. So as soon as I tried to take the, the waste off, which is all down there, um, it snapped. So, as usual, one small job turns into two jobs. Anyway, not to worry, we'll nip out, get to a DIY centre and uh, get that sorted. Right, next job. Let's get in there, let's get the tap off. Well, if there's anything standard when it comes to plumbing, um, basically nothing is standard. <laughs> that is the standard. Um, as you can see here, um, this particular tap has two bolts, uh, 10 mil bolts that uh, hold it on. So basically what you gotta do, if, uh, if I just put that down a second, um, I've got some long reach sockets like this and they will actually go over there and because they're long reach, obviously they're not gonna bottom out there. So yeah, these will get them. Um, and obviously you can use a, a long extension bar on the end of that. This is easy with one hand, isn't it? I, I always make things difficult for myself. So there you go. That's pretty much what I use uh, for those that uh, are doing this themselves. Uh, if that's the kind of tap you've got. Now if I bring you the new tap, let's come up here. This has got what looks like, it's about 32. Um, I might have a socket that will go over that, but I haven't got a long reach one. So what I might need is a right angle plumbing spanner. Now I've got to go out and get a new waste anyway, but I wanted to get this sort of mocked up because uh, again, if you look at that one, it's very different the way the pipes go in there to where they're hidden away right down there, which um, yeah, is not, it's not brilliant to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's going to be really difficult to get a spanner in there to tighten the damn things up. So that's a pretty naff design, to be honest. Uh, but it is what it is. There you go. Right, let me just measure things up and make sure I've got everything I need. And we'll have a quick trip over to the DIY centre and um, pick up the bits I'm missing. So, as there's no real way to get that in there, and these seem 
different. <sighs> I'm going to use these. Um, I think, look at that, they're going to be long enough. Um, I think if I try and put these on with the, the right angle push fit connector here, um, I'm not going to be able to tighten them, I know that. And they have only got one sealing ring where these have got two. So I'd imagine they're going to leak. Um, this is a really, sorry, it's a crap idea. You know, to have these tucked right in there, like that. Let me get the, let me get some light in there so you can see this properly. Let's get the camera right. Hold on, give us a second. There you go. Hopefully that gives you a better idea. The top right in there. Now, uh, that to me is a ludicrous idea for the simple reason that if we go to the pipe, let's turn that off a second. When you tighten the pipe up, it's just there. You tell me how on earth you're going to get anything in there to tighten that up. Let's turn that these side. So I'll put the finger pretty much where it's got to connect to and that is the distance so you're not going to get anything in there to tighten it up so basically I'm, I'm going to have to tighten it up by hand I'm not happy about that um, if it leaks I'm going to be peeved I'll be honest all right let's stop waffling and just get on with it the DIY center first get the bits I need um, and then see where we go with these and hopefully I can get enough hand tightness on them to help I'll be putting PTFE tape around there anyway, so hopefully that'll help. But yeah, I'm not I'm not impressed with that. It's a bit, it's a bit chinglish to be honest. But it was cheap. Yeah. Moral to self, don't buy cheap. Right, let's get on with it. Hold on. Sit prep, or whatever it is. Oh, let's not be American, eh? Um, you can take that off. <laughs> okay, it's there's a bit more access there now. I'm a little bit happier. Still not great, but that actually comes off. So it gives you a little bit more purchase. All right, okay. I might be able to live with that. So if you've never done plumbing before, this stuff is your friend. Wrap it around everything that you're joining uh, water-wise because this is good stuff. And if you've got a slight gap, it will fill the gap, it will expand, and it'll put that gap. There you go, you don't need to go crazy. Also remember, you want to oppose the way you're actually screwing the thing in, because if you put it the way you're screwing the thing in, it's going to unwrap itself. Okay, so you still can't really get in there to get any tightness on it, but I have got it as tight as I can with hand. With the PTFE tape, that will swell and hopefully it, uh, it won't leak. Yeah, I'm still not 100% happy about it, but it is what it is. Back on it then. Got myself a new waist got myself a new trap myself one of these now this is what do they call it let's let's let me give wicks a bit of advertising here an adjustable basin wrench it's pretty much got get your focus pretty much got that which expands out so i'm hoping that's going to enable me to get, get that screwed onto that when it's actually in place because uh, there's not much else I can do because there's no room up there at all so yeah let's see if, if this works often seen them but never actually bought one um, but they are good for getting you know um, like 15 mil fittings getting those bolted up when they're in the tight space but there yeah, might be a load of rubbish who knows all right let's uh, let's get on with it so unfortunately this time and it's going to come in useful in the in the future I know couldn't quite get that in place to tighten it up. But if I hold the bolt, um, let me get a torch up there again. It's not gonna be easy to show you this. Um, but if I hold the bolt on the bottom, let me turn you around and see if I can get you up there. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I don't think I can, but yeah, if I hold the bolt on the bottom by hand and then just literally pull the tap towards me, it is doing up quite nicely. Um, so. I'm not a fan of this single bolt thing. Um, the old tap, to be honest, that mechanism was much, much better, but it is what it is, and I'm doing what I'm doing. So, um, right, let me just finish off. So the tap's tight on a positive note as well. They went straight onto the uh, isolator valves, so um, no drama there. Right, I've got a new waist, so let's get that stuck on, and um, we'll be about finished. So for the next bit, it's the waste. Now, let me try and give you a little bit of advice if you've never done this before. 
Um, let me unscrew this. Hold on a sec. That's better. So, you will see when it comes out of the box, and most of the same, that they have a, a well, it's a plastic seal. It's <laughs> so rubber, but nothing's rubber nowadays. It's a plastic seal. Now, that plastic seal is to stop you basically cracking the basin. So if I bring it up here, when it sits in there like that, okay, it, it acts as a shock absorber and a seal as well. Doesn't need to seal too well. Um, no, tell a lie, it does need to seal very well this end. Um, but if it leaks this end, it's not the end of the world, if that makes sense. Anyway, so uh, that seal is to more protect your basin than anything else. Now, what it may say in the instructions is when you put that through, so like, like that. Ooh, let me get some light so we can see what we're doing. Oh God, flashy, flashy. So let's put the torch, put the torch there like that. So if you can see there, it's poking through the bottom. Um, you've got this nut, plastic nut that goes on the bottom as well. I hate plastic nuts, but there you go. Now what it may say in the instructions is put a bead of silicon around this. Do yourself a favour and get yourself some plumbers mate. Okay, this stuff is, it's horrible when you get it in your fingers. It's a bit like window putty and it's very, very sticky. And if you put this around the bottom, when you screw it up, it expands slightly, but it makes a, a really good seal and no water ever gets past this. Um, it does dry out over years, but it literally is years. Um, but the best thing to use on these is plum mate. Okay, you can use silicon if you want, but in my experience, plum mate's much, much better. Just a bit of a tip there for you. So there you go. I like to put a little bit of that, just a thin sliver around um, where it's sitting against the, uh, oops, let's get a finger in there, where it's sitting against the actual uh, waste itself and then a little bit on the bottom as well. That seals the top bit. Um, again, it's not, it's, it's not a critical thing. Um, but obviously if you've got a leak there, your basin, if you do use the plunger, and not many people do, um, if you do fill the basin up, you'll find over time it, it obviously drains. Um, as for the nut at the bottom, try and give that a little bit of a, uh, a more generous helping, I guess you say, and try and get it equal all the way around. Also try and keep it away from your threads in the middle because if it gets in your threads, it makes it really difficult to do it up. But again, not the end of the world, uh, just makes it a bit of a struggle for you. Right, camera down, let's get this fitted and then just put the waste on. So there we go, we're in place. Now remember again, it is a plastic nut, they do split if you go uh, crazy. So uh, if you can do it, uh, finger well not finger tight, but as much as you can do it with your fingers, that's probably the best way to do it, especially with the plumber's base on it. Um, as long as it's good and tight and everything's good. If you do get a adjustable or something on there, just be really, really careful and try not to squeeze your adjustable too much because uh, that can also uh, damage the threads as well. And then, well, you've got nothing. It's a shame to stop doing the metal because metal you could really hanker on. But uh, yeah, everything's plastic nowadays. But anyway, it is on there. Um, obviously, I'll check it for leaks in a minute, but um, that shouldn't leak with the plumber's bait on there as it is. So this is the connection I've got going into my waste. So basically with the unit down there comes with a plastic stopper um, to basically spread that rubber grommet out. Uh, and once you've pushed it in and tighten it up, that should space out and it should help. Uh, it should seal it pretty good. Um, what I do tend to put on there just for a little bit of precaution myself is a bit more plumbers, mate. Um, you can't go wrong with plumbers, mate, to be honest. It's a friend to all plumbers. So there you go, that's pushed in there good and tight. A little bit of plumber's mate just to, to seal it up as well. Uh, that's nice and tight now. Again, plastic nut here, don't go too mad. Uh, you don't need to, to be honest, because that, that rubber seal and the plumber's mate will seal it up pretty good. All uh, right, so they've just that to connect to the waste on the sink now, and that to connect back to the waste pipe. Let's go in down there, and we're about done. Uh, testing time, and uh, hopefully there'll be no leaks. But if there is, I will show them. I won't be shy of them. You know, we yeah. we're not perfect in life, um, so if there's any leaks, we'll deal with them. And we're all back together again. There you go. Any problem with plumbers, mate? It is a bit messy. <laughs> be warned. It's good stuff. Right. Um, yeah. Turn the taps on. Make sure I've got the right way round. 
And uh, yeah, we can put all the door back on and clean up all the mess we've made. Because if I don't, I'll get a kick up the backside. Okay, folks, we're doing this live. Let's get the torch in there. Okay, we're looking good so far. That's that one switched on, which should be the hot. Which it is. I can hear the pumps going. Gonna let some water through the waste. How's the waste looking? Yeah, let's have a look at there. Looks dry to me. Right, that's the hot on. That's the cold on. Just take a little air a little bit more. There you go. It's cold this way. And a nice stream as well, no spurting everywhere. Again, got some more to go through that waste. Get the torch in there. And think. Roll, oh, no. It's about too soon. There is a leak. I think that's coming off the pipe on the tap. I suspected that. As I said earlier, I don't like the way those taps are seated at the top. You can't get anything in there to tighten them up. And I think my worst fears have just been realised. You know, after this, I might just um, be getting myself a new tap and throwing that one away. Let's just give it a minute, see if the PTFE tape actually seals it. But I think, yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much coming from, yeah, from the tap itself. Yeah, not happy about that. Those, those taps are not good. Um, right, let me have a look. So, let's stand corrected. Um, wasn't the pipes, the pipes have sealed. It was the waste. Um, <laughs> I've never had this before, very bizarre, but we live and learn. <laughs> let's get some light in there. So obviously I showed you about packing the top bit there with the plumber's mate, and that worked a treat. But what it was doing was actually finding its way through the threads, which, um, <laughs> again, most bizarre. So I've uh, I've packed some plumber's mate around the threads now, and that's sealed it up a treat. So yeah, we're we're good and uh, we're good and dry now. But um, yeah, I, I suppose lesson learned for me. And if you're following this at home, maybe um, learn from my mistakes. Yeah, it was just literally coming out to have that plastic nut. I mean, they don't fit very good, so it's understandable. But um, yeah, loads of plumber's mate around it, and the leak has gone. Right, we are finished. So the last little test, just running it now, tissue paper down or toilet roll, and we have no spots. So that is, let me do it, yay, thumbs up. And just to make sure, stick the plunger in, fill it up, oh, that tap action is quite nice actually for a cheap tap. Which I don't like fitting. The level looking good. I don't see it dropping. Yeah, the light on there. Yeah, no spots. Nothing up there. Okay, I'll leave that a couple of minutes just to make sure that everything's sealed okay. But uh, yeah, there's a little mark I can see just there. And it's not going down at all. Happy days, all good. Not that anybody ever uses those. <laughs> We're good down there. We're good down there. All present and correct, sir.